हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ मंटे कलो सिमुलेशन एंड रिस्क एनालिटिक्स इन द प्रीवियस टू सेशंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ मंटे कलो सिमुलेशन एंड इट्स स्कीम एंड द एप्लीकेशन आल्सो वी हैव डन द एक्सेल इलास्ट्रेशन एंड देन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सिस्टम डायनामिक सिमुलेशन यूजिंग बेंसिंग सॉफ्टवेयर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द रिस्क एनालिटिक्स पार्ट यूजिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर कॉल्ड एड रिस्क सॉफ्टवेयर हेयर आई हैव ओपन द नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू प्रॉब्लम यू कैन फाइंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दियर वेबसाइट यू कैन डाउनलोड दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम बाई सर्चिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर नेम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट यू विल गेट द प्रॉब्लम सो हेयर इज द बेसिक प्रॉब्लम यू कैन सी द डिस्काउंट रेट इज गिविंग ट्वेल्व परसेंट एंड द इन्वेस्टमेंट कॉस्ट द वन ईयर रेवेन्यू द एनुअल फिक्स कॉस्ट एनुअल रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ रेट फाइव परसेंट एंड एनुअल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट आर गिविन फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ योर एनुअल रेवेन्यू सो दिस इनपुट डेटा आर बीन गिविन यू कैन कैलकुलेट योर नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू हेयर सपोज द प्रोजेक्ट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू प्लान एंड यू आर इनिशियल यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग द नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू दैट एंटर प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ द डेटा आर बीन फॉर द नेक्स्ट टेन ईयर्स आर बीन प्रेडिक्टेड हेयर सो दैट कैलकुलेशन आर बीन ऑल्सो गिविन यू कैन सी हेयर साम ऑफ योर प्रेजेंट वैल्यू से प्रेजेंट वैल्यू बाई वन प्लस इंटरनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न टू द पावर योर नंबर ऑफ ईयर सो इन हुई ईयर इट इज से एन इफ यू आर कंसीडरिंग फॉर एन ईयर द फॉर्मूला विल बी लाइक दिस लाइक दिस so this is the npv calculation net present value calculation also you will have to add one more term like subtract this is the present value minus your cost initial investment so this is the formula let me make it with little bit of large font so that you know we can also observe this so this is the formula of net present value using this formula you can search in google also this formula generally accountant or say you know financial people calculate this net present value and internal rate of return are nothing but at what point of discount rate or net internal internal rate of return your net present value will be zero so if you if you don't know the internal rate of return you calculate this net present value you assign assume that net present value as zero and then if you make this equation equal to zero you will get the internal rate of return also in our case the discount rate or internal rate of return has been given as a 12% so in each year you how much return you will get you will be able to calculate and the current value you will be able to determine so here you can see so here it is your only one calculation one year calculation i'll show you the present value here it is your interest cost investment cost and then you can see your fixed cost that we are calling and then here you can see your variable cost so we are subtracting your fixed cost and variable cost and cash flow from your one year revenue right so this is your not investment cost investment cost is here initial investment investment cost look at minus c7 so it is nothing but minus c7 you can see this one so that will subtract here like here that will subtract but this is your revenue of first year right so you can see your cash flow this one right the present value is like this so you can see 1 lakh minus 35 minus 50 is your total current flow so this is first year now second year your annual revenue is growing with 5% look at 5% annual revenue growth so your annual revenue say here you are calculating 5% extra right similarly next year 5% extra of that second year so third year you will get this much of revenue and in a similar manner you can calculate the fixed cost which is fixed for every year we are assuming the base model and then variable cost will be the 50% of the current annual revenue so you can see 50% of that and you can calculate the cash flow so this way we are increasing 5% annual revenue and the corresponding cash flow we have calculated for the next 10 years but the current value the net present value is coming out to be this formula this particular formula right 
So if we use this particular formula, you can calculate the net present value here and the corresponding internal rate of return. We are concentrating only say net present value. So this is the basic formula where you know any charter accountant can give you and you can calculate using this particular calculation process of net present value. So there is no uncertainty, there is no risk, there is no prediction based on this data. This is called deterministic prediction which people calculate. Now what we are going to do? We are going to bring the uncertainty in terms of investment cost, in terms of annual revenue, in terms of annual growth rate. So you don't know what is going to happen in future, right? The growth rate could vary, say from 5% to 10, 7%, 8%, 9%, 4%, 0% also. It can be negative growth also. So if this type of situation happens, initially you cannot predict everything will be 5%. Similarly, your invest like you know, and revenue also will change. Annual investment cost might also be bit vary. In that case, what would be your net present value if the entire situation become uncertain? So you can see the address has come. We have installed it now. So now we will run this particular net present value calculation under risk environment, where you can see your investment cost is not one lakh. In the previous model, it was one lakh, but here it is not one lakh. Here you can see it is a triangular distribution where lower side is could be investment where it could be say 10 percent less as I mentioned in the previous class or the previous example or say it can go up to 50 percent extra your investment like you know expenditure of your project say. Suppose you are constructing a bridge or you are constructing a say you know any particular project where you know your investment can also have a uncertain which is very practical in real life. So therefore your net present value will also change. So we are not considering only the investment variation because of the delay, you know, political dilemma or so, you know, local people protest, raw material and time and many other aspects comes together, right? So all this uncertainty if you bring together, weather risk, so in that case your investment may, investment cost may go high. So suppose we are now making it as a triangular for the sake of illustration. In, in reality, you may consider the actual data with the pattern, with the distribution, how to draw the distribution, how to fit the distribution I have discussed in the previous session. So you can consider accordingly the corresponding pattern of the data. So here investment cost, cost we are assuming all of them we are assuming as a triangular distribution for the sake of illustration and the, the practical net present value calculation under risk environment. So now similarly your annual revenue look at it also has a variation say 20 percent downside say 10 percent extra up. So if you get a higher revenue it will be high but here suppose you have kept a variation in, in terms of lower bound and upper bound also. So in that case your annual fixed cost is also been changed and then this part is very important look at your your annual growth rate we are assuming in the previous case we are assuming 5 percent annual growth, growth rate every year right every year 5 percent but here we are not considering 5 percent we are considering that 5 percent the mean of annual growth rate for next 10 years are 5 percent but standard deviation is 8 percent that means there is 8 percent downside risk and upside risk also so it has a variation. So in that case, if all these data sets are following some distribution with risk parameter or uncertainty and your annual growth rate is also not fixed, it is also following some normal distribution with a mean of 5 percent and standard deviation of 8 percent, in that case what would be your net present value? Even we have considered an, our annual percentage of cost, variable cost is also following not a 50 percent fixed, it also have a 2 percent of variation say for the sake of illustration only. In practice, you can actually capture the data based on the historical information or you know experts opinion based. So now we have calculated all this look at here. Now if you look at the changes here, you can see this 5 percent we are putting as it is like the previous formula. But this 5 percent, look at this particular 5 percent C10, it is not a fixed value 5 percent. It is following normal distribution with mean 5 percent and standard deviation 8 percent. So we are considering these aspects. Suppose let me put this is the most important parameter. So let me put with a yellow color. Rest all are also uncertain. Just I am capturing this as a different color, but rest all will vary also because you know all these things are being changed with the distribution function. So therefore your net present value will also change. Now net present value calculation you can see here. So if your calculation are like this is a deterministic calculation of net present value, the way you know accountant people calculate this. But here since it is a risk output, you have to go to add risk button and you click it as a output cell, risk output cell, that is it. Now this cell and this test cell are same. So anyone you can run. So we are going to run say, say this for anal this analysis for say 500 iterations say. They said there are so many you know, in, even say 1000 iterations say. 
right sufficient simulation you can get to know and let's run it look at here so we have found the net present value and in that case you can see your net present value the mean is now 36 in the previous case what was the you know on, on your calculation almost 41000 look at here right net present value in a deterministic case but here an internal rate of return is also something different but here like you know internal rate of return is also changing because in a similar simulation in a same simulation both are being run actually in net present value and internal rate of return also in earlier case just you have met your net present value equal to 0 and you found 19.7 percent as internal rate of return, a fixed case but here both are becoming random and here you can see this is also random you can see here risk output is even given here so that means you have run the simulation has run the IRR also but we are concentrating only net present value and in that case you can see we have run the result so let us see browse let us browse the result here you can see the mean of net present value reduced because of uncertainty it's now 36000 not a matter look at the standard deviation it's 1 lakh 14000 is a standard deviation net present value is just 36000 but net but standard deviation of that is 1 lakh 14000 that means the net present value can be negative also imagine if your investment is high and revenue are not being generated effectively in every year and growth rate is also very low like all are random look at here if your investment cost is high like 1 lakh 50,000 say 1.5 lakhs suppose to the high side and through triangular distribution suppose in a simulation you have generated that the net present investment cost is 1 lakh 50,000 the upper side of triangular distribution suppose through inverse function you have generated say in a particular simulation out of 1000 simulation and your annual revenue are coming out to be very less near 80,000 lower side and the growth rate the 5 percent growth growth rate suppose are also been lower side downside of your normal distribution you are considering in that case you may see the, your total net present value can come out to be minus 2 lakhs imagine here look at here minus 2 lakhs and if if your investment cost is less and revenue are been high with a high growth rate in every year in that case you might get a net present value of 5 lakh 56000 which all these aspects were not available in the deterministic case in the basic case but here you are able to see all these aspects in well in advance in your hand and accordingly you can play with your project you know give more emphasis on how to in increase my net present value or how to concentrate on my you know annual growth rate or what are the factors that impact my revenue so all these things you may, where you, I may increase my revenue year on year basis so all this analysis you will be able to see even you can see here your confidence interval look at the confidence interval of your data look at here all these have been posted here which you can copy and paste in your excel or you know in your word or ppt but here also you can see that 90 percent confidence interval have been given with say you know minus 1 lakh 10,000 to 2 lakh 46,000 look at the 17,000 are a representative in one of the like you know in the thumb length it is one of the simulation process where you found this but it is not the exact exact mean is on an average mean is 36,000 here you can see on an average mean is 36,600 but this 17,000 is a just a representative like a thumbnail some some one of the simulation value has come here because the range is minus 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs so in between some value has come here it does not mean that this is your expected net present value but in the previous model if you go back to the previous model here this 41,000 is your actual net present value because deterministic case you have calculated but here in this at risk model that your mean is 36,000 of your net present value and also you can see the variation also you can also play with your you know the upper bound lower bound all these things the way I have shown you in the previous example you can play with this also so suppose you know you want to see that my net present value should not go below zero so what is the chance for that you can see you know almost 43 percent chance 43.7 percent chance that your net present value may go below zero so this kind of value at risk you can calculate actually you can see the upside value of risk also the opportunity that you may get look at here only 4.6 percent chance that your net present value will be higher than 2 lakh 60 thousand but there is a almost 5 percent chance that your net present value may go up to 5 lakhs so this little slight opportunity also there which you are able to see 
home from this distribution function or histogram analysis of your entire you know cumulative data here you can see also the cumulative graph you can see the cumulative graph look at here how the data are been uh, spread you can also see the tornado analysis here who are making maximum variation look at the annual growth rate is making maximum variation to your net present value in earlier problem we had a different variables but here you can see the annual fix both are all all of them are random right look at i have kept all are risk parameter look at here look at the data sets here all of them i have consider maybe in the basic case it is i have consider triangular distribution first three parameter and annual growth rate and the percentage of extra cost or the variable cost i have consider normal but here you can see who is making maximum variation the annual growth rate because every year it is changing right and because of that because of annual growth rate you can see your total revenue are been changed here now it is not only 5% increment it is very it is varying so this analysis you are able to see and a corresponding net present value prediction the confidence interval also you can make a in any business setting so this is the advantage of business forecasting through this particular simulation based adrix software so you can trigger annual growth rate so if you can you know enhance more annual growth rate you can see the variation of net present value so you focus reduce the downside risk and increase the outside opportunity upper side opportunity you may increase your net present value also so if you can trigger that growth rate you will be able to get a higher net present value because it is making maximum variation so now one more thing i would like to show you so first i have shown you that earlier also here if you want to calculate your scatter plot with your net present value with your annual growth rate suppose this one you can see how it is making changes look at here look at the scatter plot so here it is says that if your annual growth rate increases little bit you see your the exponential growth of net present value look at here this kind of analysis even can give you a better insights to the managers in making a better strategic decision making or investment opportunity so here you can see how that you know net present value are getting impacted through little changes in the annual growth rate look at the annual fixed cost if you calculate that with annual fixed cost you won't find this much of you know variation look at it is also following triangular distribution but look at here it is scattered in, a, in a, almost you know equal manner in all the four quadrant so it is not making much changes in your net present value here you can clearly observe but the annual growth rate has a high impact on your net present value but not annual fixed cost look at it is spread it in a scattered manner so it is not having much correlation with that data so this type of analysis also you will be able to see you can you can actually copy all this and you can paste in your ppt excel award and you can make a management presentation also or project presentation also the drawback here is that which you can improve further to make it more practical problem that here you can see this 5% change are coming from this normal distribution right look at here normal distribution through monte carlo simulation you can generate one input of like through inverse function one input of random variable from your cumulative line here which will come here which will come here which will come here but all value will be the same for example in, in here in, in place of 5% if you put say 4% say 4% in a simulation you have generated 4% through random function so the 4 function 4% will come here everywhere everywhere you will generate 4% of annual growth rate right in a second iteration of your 1000 simulations suppose you have got 4.5% say 4 point say 4.5% 4, 4. say look at here 4.5% in that case your annual growth rate will change to 4.5% to all the next 10 years if you make it say say 6% so if you make it 6% so every year you will see the annual growth rate of 6% so accordingly you will be able to generate 1000 simulation output right or iterations and then corresponding net present value calculations i have shown you and because of that you can see the variation of your net present value uh, let me run you show you the result again and here you can see the variation of your annual growth rate to net present value which is very high let me go to the main graph and here you can see your standard deviation is 114000 note down 114000 and here the variation of your tornado graph by annual growth rate is high minus 1,7,000 to almost 2,72,000 if you keep other parameters fixed fixed static then only growth annual growth rate is having so much of variation minus 1,7,000 to only this much itself annual growth rate forget about other parameters 2,73,000 note down it now what I am going to do this 
input data of annual growth rate say 5 percent, 6 percent in every simulation we are generating some variation right, but that variation is remain same for every year. So, 4 percent annual growth rate means in a simulation if you have generated 4 percent, so every year you are considering 4 percent growth next 10 years. 6 percent means every year are generating 6 percent growth, 2 percent means if there is a negative growth say every year generating negative growth, how come if there is a negative growth in a particular year, how come every year will be a negative growth, if there is a 7 percent or say 10 percent annual growth rate, suppose in normal distribution in certain case suppose you found 10 percent annual growth rate or say 8 percent annual growth rate, how come your every year it will remain same 8 percent. So, that mistake we are doing here despite we are generating thousand of simulation, that of difficulties we are going to overcome through this particular extension look at here. So, in this case what we are going to do here we are the other parameter we have kept as it is, but look at the annual growth rate we have shifted here and we are assuming that on an average every year next 10 years the mean value of annual growth rate will remain 5 percent and the standard deviation of 8 percent as it is, but every year we will not generate the same value. We will generate 10 another simulation along with this simulation process where every year my annual growth rate will change. If this year it is also following normal distribution with 5 percent mean and standard deviation of 8 percent, the next year also from the same data sets we are not considering the input to annual growth rate of each next 10 years. For every year individually we are generating this data set. So, here suppose here we have generated 4 percent with a different normal distribution, here we have generated say another distribution, another random number, so we will get another growth rate for fourth year we will get another growth rate, for fifth year another growth rate because these are now independent not are same, all you know annual growth rate percentage changes are not same. So, every year we will have a new random number input, the corresponding annual growth rate will also change which is more practical right, you can put a correlation right, that, that additional extension you can do, but so far let us understand if you change the variation of annual growth rate in a at a same, same instance single instances will generate for next 10 years but not same 5 percent or same 4 percent or not same 8 percent for every year. You are making a variation in year on year basis on year on year basis to each annual growth rate, each year's annual growth rate. In that case if you run your net present value, let us see what happens. Look at here, one, one illustration I can show you here. You can see this we are considering 5 percent of that, but this 5 percent are generated through a separate normal distribution, clear? This 5 percent is coming from the previous year's growth plus 5 percent, but this 5 percent will be generated through a separate normal distribution not fixed. So, all these are now a independent normal distribution. So, now in that case if you run the simulation what will be your net present value and the corresponding 5000 will be too high say 1000 simulation. Let us run the simulation now. So, see here what happened? your mean value look at it has reduced further, it is 17000 now and standard deviation has come down to 48000. Look at the reality now, earlier case it was 41000 in the deterministic case, now when you have put the uncertainty to each of them with a fixed 5 percent for everybody you have got 36000 as your mean value, but standard deviation was 114000, like you know, we have observed that you know your annual growth rate has a maximum impact in your or variation in on your net present value. Now, we are making a different annual growth rate for different year, so in which is more practical. So, therefore, here you can see net present value is still positive it is 17000 which is much more practical as well as you can see your standard deviation has come down from variation has come down to 48000 only remaining and also you can change this overall range of net present value, here it, it was minus 2 lakh 8000, now here you can see the only minus 1 lakh 14000 and maximum it was it went to up to 5 lakhs I think more than 2 lakhs, but now here you can see the maximum is just 1 lakh 87000. So, overall variation the lower bound and upper bound of your net present value has also been reduced, only one parameter you have changed what is that, that is called annual growth rate, rest all you have kept as it is with uncertain parameters, I have not changed the seed 2 and seed 3, but here what I have done only I have considered the annual growth rate for each year are random are different from year on year basis. So, therefore, which is more practical and your variation actually it will not increase it will rather come down and you can see your net present value mean of net present value and the standard deviation. Look at the turnover graph 
it will also have a maximum variation but look at the variation changes has been reduced now look at here and also look at couple of year annual growth rate second year and third year has a maximum annual growth because annual growth rate are becoming most of the annual growth rate is are making maximum impact but based on this thousand simulation you can see you know like one year revenue is also having impact investment cost has also impact but annual variable cost has also impact but overall you can see only an annual growth rate are coming up as a more explained variable to your net present value and here also you can see when which year you are having maximum variation that is depend on the random sample but in practice also you can an analyze these situations in a better manner you can also see you know your fidr graph also which are making to some extent much more steady as compared to the previous case so this many other features also you will be able to generate through this so now if you want to conclude this particular analysis we can go back to the previous examples you can see here the annual growth rate is having maximum variation where you know lower bound is minus 1 lakh and upper bound is 2 lakh 70000 but here you can see your annual growth rate are not that much making impact it is it is making maximum impact but variation are quite low variation are not that high or minus look at here like here you can see minus 19000 only one of them to only 57000 and you can see the highest highest one which is which is coming from the second year but overall you can see the variation has been reduced and your net present value is also much more practical as well as your standard deviation overall standard deviation has also come down from, from 1 lakh 14000 to 48000 corresponding in you know, interval also confidence interval also is changed this case is much more practical than the previous two case and with that you can go to the practical case and you can make the bidding or the company presentation and the corresponding analysis cost estimation budget estimation you can do also the time estimation part also you can do through this analysis also where uncertainty can also be incorporated but this is one illustration i am showing as a net present value calculation as a part of financial application but remember this type of analysis can be used for any practical case studies in real life and you can make a better prediction with uncertainty and risk analytics through this software using the Monte Carlo simulation concept. Here you can see you will not be able to understand what is where is Monte Carlo simulation. But effectively we are running the Monte Carlo simulation in each and every, every random parameter we are generating some random sample through Monte Carlo simulation and we are correspondingly you know generating some x value and that x is coming to the output cell in each of the row 18. And we have calculated the net present value here. I hope it is clear to everybody.